Hello friends, thank you for joining our vegan cooking class. I'm Tony Brown and I will be making a vegan black bean chili for you using the Impossible Burger that is made from plants. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is saute some green pepper, red pepper, onion, celery. I also have some minced garlic and then some shallots. I have about um, one half cup each of the bell peppers, onions, and celery, and about three cloves of minced garlic there, and about one fourth cup of the shallots. So I'm gonna add that to my pan that I already have heating with olive oil. saute that for about five to seven minutes. All right, so my vegetables are nice and sauteed. They are beginning to get tender and my onions are becoming translucent. At this point, we'll add the Impossible Burger. add in whatever seasonings you like. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm also adding in some parsley. You want to begin to break your Impossible Burger up just like you would do um, regular ground beef. Just break it up with your spoon and then start incorporating all of the veggies. You want to cook this until all of the meat is browned. It will brown just like regular ground beef. So once it's browned, we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. All right, so now you can see that all of my plant-based meat has browned. The next thing I will be adding is one pack of the McCormick Mild Chili Mix. Just add in that entire packet. I'm also adding in some Hunt's Seasoned Diced Tomatoes for Mild Chili. I also like to add in Cento tomato paste and I give it a good squeeze right into the pot. So that's about three tablespoons there of the Cento tomato paste. And then I'm adding in about two and a half cups of black beans. I only do black beans for this particular chili, but if you want to do um, a three bean chili, you can add in some pinto beans as well as some kidney beans, and that'll turn it into a three bean chili. And then I'm gonna throw in some frozen corn, and that's about two and a half cups of that as well. some warm water. That was two cups. And give it all a stir. about one more cup of warm water. Just 
just to loosen it up a little bit more. point we will let our chili simmer cover on low to medium heat for about 20 minutes all right our vegan chili is all ready I have a bowl of it plated up here you can put whatever vegan toppings you like on it um, sometimes I do vegan sour cream or vegan shredded cheese other times I might put a little bit of avocado on it um, just whatever you like but tonight I did these crispy tortilla chips and this is what they look like and this chili is so good I really think you'll enjoy it bon appetit <music> 